we are flying Falke Turin motor glider. And now FB is rising, that's okay, and we can put the back on the final round later. Voluntarily engine shutdown checklist. Never seen one yet, <laughs> yes. but today we will do it. Hi everyone, my name is Konstantin Fetchenko, KF Avia, Aviation Sales, Passenger and Cargo Charters. We are flying Falke, Turin motor glider produced in Germany, equipped with Rotax engine, 80 horsepower. And this is Pascal, he will help me to get to know how to fly this thing. Just a couple of words, you can have a PPL license or a seaplane license, but you must have an endorsement for Turin motor glider. And as far as I'm concerned, you can shut down the engine. Hello, Pascal. Hi. Shut down the engine, but only if you're a, uh, a glider pilot, otherwise you're not allowed to, to shut it down. That's yeah. true. So for me, not possible. Yes. <laughs> Let's see how it's performing. Pedals are adjustable. Yeah. And no brakes. The brakes are here. Ah, so okay. you have like brakes. This is the brake. And yeah. why, uh, why is it, it moving? You can push put yes. it like you a can, parking brake. If you if I want to release it, mm -hmm. just, it's it, a parking brake. Yes, it's fact. a park, parking brake and to fly like and what this. What is this? This is a um, a cooling cooling for the uh -huh. for the engine. Air cooling. The speed is in kilometers per hour. Kil yes. Uh, vertical speed in yes. meters, per, meters second. per second. Uh altitude here is in feet. Yes, in in meters. In meters as well. Compass, com radio, A33, transponder. Uh this is the flarm. Uh yes. the flarm it just shows you where the other uh, glider is yes. and nothing else. Above or below? Above or ah, below? All right, here is and the, the indication. The indication is here. And is it mandatory or it's just a good option for the for the gliders? It's not, in Switzerland, it's not yet mandatory. Mm -hmm. But it has it, so. In some countries, I think they, they it is, but mm -hmm. not in Switzerland. And where is the speed brake? Speed brake is this one. This is, so look on this. And the brakes for wheels? The same. Uh-huh, yeah. Because Combined. if, if it look like this, and if you have the, the last few, Maybe that is the braking for the, the wheels. Braking for the wheels as well, mm -hmm. yes. I get it now. I get it. So this this stuff is for a parking, mm -hmm. and this is just to have a good to have it good in the hands. Because otherwise, if you need to do something like this, it's just mm -hmm. yeah annoying. All right. And one of the specialties, if you don't, this is also the emergency release. Mm -hmm. And if it's not secured like this, the motor won't start. Mm -hmm. So if you want, if you want to start the motor and you have the canopy open, you need to like close this and then ignition mm -hmm. will be on. If you try to start the engine with canopy open, yes, you need to it like push it you. inside. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Clear it. probe. <laughs> so it's just like easier. Than Checking oil pressure. Yes, looks good. And here we have a flarm indication. What does yes. it mean at this moment? What is? What we is don't it? know where. It's not flarm. Maybe it's transponder. It's mode S. We don't. We don't have a direction. We have a, a more or less an angle, mm -hmm. uh, an azimuth, and uh, it's. But we have like four planes, right? It shows no. It it doesn't it 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 doesn't know where it is exactly. There's no no direction indication. Uh huh. Otherwise, there would just be one. But it's. 
Aha, uh -huh, so when it shows 4 it doesn't yes. know where it is. Yes. yes. Distance 1.2 miles. Okay, okay departure so path is clear. And this is clear. Outbound east. Can I do the take off? Yep. Go. And I put... Delta Delta Uniform, overhead, train downwind, runway 208. Okay, everything's fine. It's it is... Okay, so it is apply... Full power? Full power. Shall I reduce a bit on the power? Just full power. It's good. Uh -huh. We need all the power. Because someone's behind us uh -huh. and we need about 90 to climb. Uh huh. Looks good now. Everything's fine. This is the fuel pump, right? This is the fuel pump, yes. So someone's behind us. We can trim if we want. Uh, now <laughs> now we have like a plan. Yes, yeah, now we have an indication that it's behind 1.6. Uh -huh. Because normally it's about five, eight, five, nine. We are well in the indicator. Uh -huh. And shall we go left or right? And we can go straight ahead. Straight ahead, uh huh. With 90 or 100 knots is okay. Oh, 90 is maybe better. So uh -huh. I wanted to be a bit faster uh -huh. because of the other one behind us. Ah, okay. And now there's a little road right in the forest. Here. I can see, yeah. We need to just like to turn uh, in between the two villages. Yes. And we can just climb. Uh huh, continue. Just okay. Continue climb, maybe do a uh, three and a half. It's not very fast, huh? We're about 90 kilometers per hour. And we can turn a bit to this side, mm -hmm. just right in between the, the villages. Mm -hmm. Just fl uh, fly a bit, bit um, faster. Oh, maybe yeah. something like 100 or 110. Mm -hmm. Alright. Because it'll climb anyways. Yeah, get Getting a bit higher, a bit. Um, a bit warmer up here, but yeah, I think it's normal with the temperatures. Uh, the speed is what? Oh, sorry, it's RPM. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Look into the speed. Uh, 120 yes. uh, five kilometers per hour. Yes, more or less. Yeah, and I'm still in climb. If I if I stop climbing, it would be 140 or something. Yes. So we can reduce here or like do the trim a bit. You see this bridge there, this highway bridge mm -hmm. yeah. over the river. This is the, our entry point for the for the for the approach to mm -hmm. the BFL. We want to yeah, yeah, do no. a bit more flying. No, no, that's fine. That's it's fine. fine. If you do an approach and landing and yes. then the glider stuff, yes. Uh, I mean touch and go. Yeah. And we are not gonna be uh, having our tailwheel on the ground, right? We just land with. We have the, the tailwheel on the ground. We will have it on the ground yes. now. Because we don't have flaps, we have just the speed brake. Yes. And uh, is there a speed limit for a speed brake, or I could use it now just to drive? You could use it now, but uh -huh. it's quite hard to pull it out. Uh huh. Uh, in, in the high speed, you mean? Yes, it, because yeah, it, it just there's so much uh, pressure mm -hmm. uh, from the from the front, so it's quite quite hard to. And you would it would be remarkable. Yes. Electric trim is yes. very good, cool thing to have. Yes. <laughs> you just press the button and it does its job. Check with ATIS, not available. Approach briefing, as I already said, 2500 overhead, then 2000 on the downwind. And yeah, we'll check the, the wind, how fast we're gonna approach this. And, uh, Yes, instruments are set for approach. Uh, since we we haven't been away for long enough, it should be fine. Everything. Let's put the fuel pump on again. Check. Then we do yes. the left turn or the right turn for we down. Can always do the left. Left. Uh -huh. Yes. And now we need to descend to 2,000. We are much too high. Sorry. Uh -huh. Need to like. This is wow. the park. This is the this speed brake. The, the speed brake. So we can just go. Wow. And now we're 2000. We can just release the brakes again. And down we are. <laughs>
Yeah, this will be the tight turn here all the time. Already. Starting yes. the left. So, okay, now, now straight ahead. Ah, straight. Uh -huh. Yes, until you see the tree, the tree uh -huh. line over there. Which and is keep in 2000? Keep, yes. Uh -huh. And the speed? And the speed about 100. 100, okay. That's okay. And up a little bit. Yes, and now can turn and go to idle. Yeah, because it's a glider. Yes. Yeah, we're quite high, that's okay. Now you need to release this one and to use this one here. Uh huh. Okay, that's the speed brake. Yes. And now already started left, yeah? You can turn left, yes. With less brakes. Now reduce to about 95. Uh huh. And use the brakes too? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The brakes for the glide at the glide slope. Uh huh. And the uh, the stick is more or less for the speed. Uh huh. 95, okay. So it's just. Brakes, air brakes. It's a bit high, but it's okay. A bit more brakes, yes. So, kind of like this. A bit fast, but it's okay. Just bleed off the speed. Pull it high, pull it high. Yes. Wow, and we go okay, around. Okay, yeah. you can just apply uh, to power. Uh, power, yes. Uh, push it a bit, yes. And we can just take off because it still still has a lot of energy. That's okay. Wow, that's perfect. Positive rate. <laughs> Increase in 90. Temperature pressure, everything is fine, that's fine, that's okay. A bit, bit, uh -huh. push a bit forward, need to have a bit more airspeed. That's interesting. Is, is landing a tail wheel is a different thing. Yes, it's different. Voluntarily engine shutdown checklist. Never seen one yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But today we, we will do it. Just like fly straight ahead. Mm -hmm. So, and keep in the same 90. You can, you know, exactly, keep 90, you can go this way. All right, then. And we're gonna switch frequencies. This is the glider frequency. Gear trans 22, count in Abkreisung mit 850 Meter. And then we do again the left and landing, yeah, but on the grass. We do, do or it, we, yes, we do go do it, go go into the grass, yes, and we're gonna do some some circles here. Ah, uh, even like until that. we are um, down to a suitable altitude, and then we're gonna do the approach. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just prepare if something's wrong, we can just start and should, mm. should be working again. Here comes the road, Gap Kreis, Rom, 750 meter. We're gonna circle here. Mm. And now we can see how, how fast we are losing altitude. Mm. And this is uh, possible to climb all only if it's really thermal, right? In yes, because it's not a good really good glider. Um, With we the have to have strong heavy. thermals, or if you have a ridge or something. Mm -hmm. But normally yeah. it's just, uh, yeah. So. So we're going to do a downwind now. Uh -huh. so we're going to prepare this one. That's okay. We're going to. Ah, that's okay. So what about stalling? Is it possible to stall this thing at all? Yes, you can mm. stall it, but it's just no, like no. mixed down. But you have to. Um, yeah, you have to have enough altitude to do it. Mm. I'll leave it to you, okay, from now. That's okay. Because <laughs> it's so we have about 250 meters now. That's well enough.
Actually, wow. Open before it gets too hot, <laughs> especially in summer. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Pascal. This is You're a great experience. You're welcome. I enjoyed. It was a pleasure it. to fly yeah. with you. I I, I was uh, a bit paranoid at the <laughs> point when we had the propeller yes. just standing in front of us and not moving. But then you feel that the thing is still mm -hmm. quite flyable, quite yes. flyable. Because this is one of the things we do normally with the students for they they know how much gliding distance they would have if there was a real engine failure so they can choose wisely their their outlanding field and with a touring motor glider you almost reach another uh, aerodrome or maybe just little landing strip because, excellent because it's it's not the best glider but it's better than other aircraft in gliding looks excellent thanks yes. a lot again so this was kf avia konstantin fetchenko your aviation salesman and a couple of pictures and we head out to our new adventures thank you for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel bye 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 bye